Welcome to Social Climbing Cooking of Angus. On this episode, Angus walks like he did on Made in Chelsea. Who is he? George Toffolo's former lover. Model and ex Made in Chelsea. Luckily, he obviously really likes food. Let's get him on the phone. Hey mate, how's it going? Hey mate, you know that YouTube video I wanted to film? I'm on the way to yours. See you in a sec. Boy Angus. Woo! Angus Finley. Is there anything we can't do? Probably not. Let's find out what we're going to cook. Right, so Angus thinks there's something called recipe roulette, which I well, think is completely fine. made up. I just, I like the alliteration, so it was <laughs> Recipe roulette. Family roulette? No. No, fuck's sake. It's all recipe roulette, random recipe Got it, perfect. This guy's gay horror for you, Rob. I've got awful signal. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Gorgeously green risotto, mate. Gorgeously green risotto, it is. Okay. Cool. Um, what do we need? Um, I've got, I've got an onion. I've got onion. Yeah, we need onion. No, okay, okay, I so. do, but I can show them a little technique. A little technique. Guys. Okay, we'll be back um, with the ingredients. Oh, lovely. Potato. Safety first. The baby. Cheers. <laughs> Straddle. <laughs> I mean, it is weirdly green. Oh, that one open for you, lad. Yeah. I mean, it's hard enough that we're cooking anyway. Uh, to do it sober would just be beyond the pain. It would be <laughs> irresponsible, I think. It would yeah. actually be offensive to you guys, so we're just we're not going to do that. So it's, it's actually seven in the morning right now. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is the sound we get in the morning. For those of you who don't know, he is he is really good at pouring. Let's <laughs> let the cooking commence. Let's do it. We're, we are massive. I think people think that we're being modest when we say we can't cook. We actually can't. So this is a learning experience for us. Look how small the recipe is. Okay, heat olive oil in a large pan. We can definitely do that. And and do the chopping. We'll do the chopping and then we can have everything ready. It's like, here's one that I've pepper. Yeah, it's all in the pan. This is a high budget show, guys. So um, we're, we're not Mate, cutting any corners. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. Uh, yeah. Mate, you buy a whole bloody celery and you're going to get one. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm going to cry. Yeah, we should have got some goggles. That's just because I hate my life. Dice, what do you reckon? Like this? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. In half and then... In... Yeah, I think yeah, in half, half yeah. I actually think, I know one thing about cooking is yeah. that you've got to be consistent with your size and say everything's got to be a similar size. I think we really like celery, so I'm hoping no, it's not no, going to taste I, too yeah. celery. If you want a gorgeously green risotto, we're going to absolutely show you how to do it. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Celery, done. Done. That's me done. Well, see you later. Alright, see you now. That is, that's great actually. See, look, at that. look, look, look at the precision, the accuracy. You can't rush magic. Chicken stock. Right. We didn't Somewhere. get chicken stock. No chicken stock. It's just gonna have to boil it with water. This, this is, is gonna like, be disgusting. It's very vegan friendly. Yeah, because <laughs> I did say to Angus on the way back, I was like, we need a stock, because that's, yeah, that's yeah. how we did it. Yeah, 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 no bloody way we're going back to the shop, that's for no, sure. No. So, it's too cold. Um, Way too cold. Right. Did we check how many people this recipe is for as well? No, mate. I thought it was gonna be easy, mate. A lot of people say, oh, samosa is a bit feminine. No. And his favourite drink is a Long Island iced tea. Yeah. But which, oh. which is fine. <laughs> thinly slice, perfect. So I just slice it thinly. Oh, what is that paper? <laughs> Recipe roulette, don't fuck around. <laughs> this turns out amazing. I'm going full time. But you might know me from such bad daytime television shows. So let's go dating, where I dated Toph. You want stuff? <laughs> yeah, well, things change. Are you <laughs> still in contact with Toph? A levels. Uh, no, there's a restraining order in place. Let's start cooking. Love. Honestly, they say that cooking is is the pathway to the soul. Basically, I'm very lazy, <laughs> so I have chopped diced garlic. Whoa! Incredible. You're obviously getting paid too much if you've got someone to chop your garlic for you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sing happy birthday when you wash your hands? Religiously. Honestly, Jamie Oliver and his list would be having a hard on right now. <laughs> Onion gravy granules. Oh, yeah. That's going to be our stock. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not proud of it. But you know, when life gives you mouldy lemons, you've got to make subpar lemonade. And is the risotto going to be dark brown? I don't want to talk about it. Don't drink and cook. It's really dangerous. Oh my god. Oh, this is the dream. Jeez. Yummy. Yeah. What? Any swipes? Do you like cook it. for guys when they come over? Um. No one has been graced with my amazing cooking skills yet. <laughs> It's kitchen fire. It's like an angle. Looking while putting gravy in a risotto. I'm sure oh no, it's, 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 it's bogged up the fucking camera. <laughs> How do they do it in cooking? Yeah, I know. I've been reading, so I follow. Wait there. You read? 
I'm more of a feeler that if you trust your soul and follow your gut, you'll never find yourself in a position you're not supposed to be in. You're more of a feeler? That, that, that sounds like a graping thing in a nightclub. I should have opened with that. But how much gravy did you put in there, do you know? I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't measure it. Yeah. Well, that looks brown enough. Yeah. <laughs> Shame we don't have Freddie here. It could be gorgeously brown with Freddie Brown. Oh, my God, gorgeously brown with Freddie Brown. Yeah. He does nothing. He does absolutely <laughs> nothing. He's like, oh, me, I'm really busy. He's honestly, he's masturbating over solitaire right now. I can promise you that. <laughs> Hello? Yep. <laughs> Hey mate, so Freddie, basically, just to give you a quick intro, I'm filming a cooking show at the moment and I want your opinion on what I'm cooking. Are you willing to give comment? Right, crack on. Right, okay. Besides the fact you've never fucking cooked anything in your life, he's lying. You're worried for a bit of toast if you went anywhere near it, mate. He's jo- he is ba- he's jo- it's banter we have. He-, he loves my cooking. Right, so I'm cooking something called a gorgeously green risotto. It's risotto, onions, celery, broccoli, and courgette. Do you want to see how it's going so far? I see that you've learned to read recently. That's, uh, that's a good sign. I don't actually know why I'm friends with you, to be honest. Right, anyway, what is your opinion on that? <laughs> Honestly, mate, it looks like chocolate. <laughs> that was pretty brown, everyone. Well, thank you, Freddy. I will never call you again. Peace out. Say bye. 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 <laughs> Absolute bell end. What do you think is um, going well? What's going wrong? What would you have changed? What have you done differently? I think that the prep went quite well. Yeah. Apart from us forgetting the, the core ingredient, which is broccoli. I think the stock was a big mess up on, on my behalf. Uh, it smells good. It looks okay. There's no kitchen fire. Is there? No. I should actually stare at it, shouldn't I? Mm. It's just sat on top. Right. I feel bad, I haven't really done anything. Do you enjoy the last episode? No. No tour. Hello MTV, this is my crib. Thank you so much for coming. This is where I watch this is why I watch TV on. Is uh the view. And it's it's right. Peace guys. <laughs> Wait, do you want some fat, mate? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Tastes of fatter. Good fatter. Yeah. Well. Same pepper. Oregano? Shit, it's oregano, isn't it? <laughs> it's going in. If you did this again, what would you uh, do differently? Everything. Oh god, it's a lot of feta, isn't it? Yeah. It actually looks alright. It's not green though, is it? It looks it's good. Not it's not green. very green. It's not green, mate. I think the, the onion gravy might have had something to do with that. Oh, that's disgusting. That's awful. <laughs> right. right. Let's see what we've, uh, we've got. I'm here. actually quite nervous, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's not. It's not lighting my world on fire. It's very edible. It's um, that bit was a bit tasteless, but I think it's because um. I mean, it doesn't taste yeah. anything. <laughs> the parsley is the tasty bit. Mm. Mm. Maybe it needs a bit more seasoning. Yeah. Mate, I put my bucket. Where's it gone? The fat is a bit tasteless as well. Not that we didn't make the fat, but... Yeah. Do you want some salt? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How long has it taken us to cook? Uh, five and a half hours. It's over three days. We filmed this over three yeah. days. We had to wear the same clothes. Yeah. It's better than I thought it would be, basically. Yeah. I thought it could have been like raw risotto, salmonella, <laughs> bird flu, <laughs> swine flu. It's not as green as I thought it would be. No. What would you rate out of 10? Mm, six and a half. For social climbing purposes, because we've done a meaningless task, I'd say you probably social climbed to an eight out of 10, mate. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. This has been- Unreal. What are we calling it? Um, Just social climbing. This is social climbing cooking of Angus. Yeah. Um, and we've, we've cooked, we've done the video, I've social climbed. Six, social climbed. Well, I guess nine out of 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit mean, isn't it? I got that last time as well on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Higher school rating to win. <laughs> um, but yeah, 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Um, and there'll be plenty more coming your way soon. Cheers, lads. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe.